G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is how to work out fuel consumption costs for driving both petrol and electric vehicles. So sit back and enjoy. This video is a suggestion from one of my patrons. A big thank you for the suggestion. It's one of the perks of being a patron is you actually get to suggest videos. And for the rest of you, if you are like this video, please remember hit the like button down the bottom of the video. So first off, how do we measure fuel consumption? Well, this is going to depend now whether or not you're talking about a petrol vehicle or an electric vehicle. So we're talking about a uh, internal combustion engine or an electric vehicle. There's different ways that we might do this. An internal combustion engine, we often might look at this in terms of litres per 100 kilometres. Okay, how many litres you use for 100 kilometres? Or we might also, we're dealing with kilometres still, say how many kilometres you get per litre. My car gives me both uh, options for this, but it also gives me another option, depending on where you're from, that it might be miles per gallon. Okay, and these are the different ways that we can look at internal combustion engines. Pretty much how much petrol you're using for a given distance. For electric vehicles, it's a little bit different. We're not using petrol. Uh, these are given slightly different. Uh, these are quite often given in terms of, say, uh, kilowatts or watts per kilometre, okay? Uh, so the Tesla gets um, 0.15 kilowatts per kilometre, or it might even be kilowatts or watts per mile, okay? So we're looking now at how much electricity is used for a given distance. Now, for these examples we're going to have a look at, I'm going to break them into two different types here. We're going to be comparing electric vehicles to internal combustion engines, but for the sake of ease, we're going to keep the miles and miles together, and we're going to keep kilometers and kilometers together, okay? So um, <laughs> so first off, I'm going to actually compare miles per gallon and uh, kilowatts per miles, okay? So uh, let's have a look. Okay, for our first example, looking at fuel consumption costs, we're going to consider a US example here where we're going to be dealing with miles per gallon or kilowatts per mile. Um, and this is going to be the two types of cars. We're going to look at the biggest selling uh, sedan for uh, the internal combustion engine for petrol vehicles, as well as probably to me the the electric vehicle that's got the most buzz around it. So the two cars we're going to be considering. For the petrol vehicle, the biggest selling vehicle, you might have guessed it, is the Camry. Um, all right, so the Camry, the fuel consumption is 26 miles per gallon. Compare this to probably, I guess, the uh, electric vehicle with the most buzz around it, uh, which is the Tesla. Okay, it's a Tesla 3. Now, when you look up a Tesla and you look at how much fuel it uses, it uses electricity, so it's not using uh, petrol, obviously. It uses the following. For a 75 kilowatt battery, and that's probably the one I'd look at, you get a 310 mile range. So, okay, what can we do to turn this into a usable uh, fuel consumption? Well, we could see how many kilowatts we use per mile. Okay, we could look at kilowatts per mile. How do we do that? We're literally going to go the kilowatts divided by the number of miles. Okay, so 75 kilowatts divided by how many miles? 310. And that will tell us the electricity uh, consumption rate of a Tesla. So 75 divided by 310, these guys here get 0 0.24 kilowatts per mile. So to compare the fuel consumption costs for our two different vehicles here, we have the Camry using petrol and the Tesla using electricity. How can we do this? We've got different sort of our things here, miles per gallon and kilowatts per miles. What we could do is we could actually get a certain distance and we could work out how much of each type of fuel is used. And then based on the types of fuel and their costs, we could work out the cost of these. And that's precisely what we're going to do. So what distance should we use? Well, the average distance driven by a person in the US per year is 13,476 miles. This is the distance we're going to compare uh, the two with. So how much petrol would you need to drive this far in a Camry? So how do we go about doing that? A Camry gets 26 miles per gallon and we have to drive 13,476 miles. So how many lots of 26 are in 13,476? And that's how we'd work this out. 13,476 miles divided by 26 miles per gallon. That should tell us how many gallons we'll be using, okay? So if we do this, we're going to get the answer of 518 gallons. Okay, what about for the Tesla? So 
what we're doing is we're going to say, okay, we're using 0.24 kilowatts for every mile. We know how many miles we've got. So this is a slightly different calculation. We're going to get 13,476. And for each one of these, we're using 0.24 kilowatts. We're going to multiply by 0 0.24 kilowatts. And that will tell us how much electricity we are using. If we do this, we are going to get the answer of 3,000. 234 kilowatts. Just a little star here, a little asterisk. Just something to be aware of though. And this is, uh, I'll tell you this right now, just a little thing I've been reading about Teslas. When you charge a Tesla, we have a little thing where only 86% of the electricity that you put in from the wall actually goes into the battery of your car, okay? Into actually running the, with the actual wheels of your car. Only 80 six percent efficiency there so you're actually going to use a bit more than this in fact this is only going to be 86 percent of the amount of electricity that you will use so if we were to turn this into the full 100 percent amount of electricity you would use you could divide this by 86 and times by 100 to do that you would get that we would instead actually be using 3760 kilowatts Okay, this is the actual amount. Okay, this is the hundred percent amount, and I'll use both of these figures here because I think it's actually important to kind of recognise that. Okay, so all right, what can we do now? We know how much of each type of fuel we're using. We could now work out the actual cost of driving these two vehicles. So what do we need? We need the price of uh, petrol per gallon. We also need the price of electricity per kilowatt. Okay, so. Okay, I'll look these up, and then I'll, I'll tell you what I found. All right, when we did this, is I went through and I had a look. Now, the average price of petrol, according to our global petrol prices, in the US is $2.88 a gallon. $2.88 per gallon. Okay, we need 518 gallons. So, how will we do this? We're going to get our 518 gallons, and for each one of these, we're paying $2.88. So the cost of that, well, that will be our cost per year. So we go that times that, we're going to get $1,492 per year driving the Camry. What do you think it's going to be for the Tesla? Now, obviously, electricity is a little bit strange. Depends when you actually plug in your car, doesn't it? You do it during the day, we get hit by peak rates. We do it at night time, we get off peak rates. I'm actually going to consider that people probably would be putting their vehicle into charge at night time, also when the actual price of electricity is at its lowest. Okay, so I had a bit of a look at the US, um, a price that you could, you know, just looked up a random uh, off-peak price. It was a pretty cheap one, <laughs> much, much cheaper than we get in Australia. This was um, seven cents per kilowatt hour. Okay, pretty cheap. Okay, so how much would that cost to charge your car here okay so if we were to literally <laughs> multiply these through 3234 kilowatts times seven cents that will tell us how much uh, the price of electricity is so just be wary when you do this we're not going to be timesing by seven we're going to be timesing by 0 0.07 this is seven cents okay each one of these kilowatts costs seven cents so if you were to go 3234 times 0 0.07, you would get our price here, which is going to be uh, $226. We could also get this based on uh, this 100% figure, because that's only for our 86% 80 figure. If we were to go 3,760 kilowatts times 7 cents, you would get this answer of $263 per year. Okay? Per year, uh, per year. So this is the two costs that we're going to be really thinking about. I would be probably considering these costs. I would be considering this one for the Tesla, and I would consider this one for the Camry. Okay? All right? So you can see the actual running costs. Um, so you have a bit of a look here. You can sort of see the difference between these. If I was to actually want to work out how much cheaper one is than the other, I could go, okay, that one, take away this. But I could also say this as a percentage. If I uh, go 263 divided by 1,492 times 100, you would see that this is about 18% of the cost, okay? So the Tesla is about 18% of the cost to run. 
This is not factoring in anything else, okay? So I'm not laying any claims about insurances or fix up or anything like that. I'm just talking about uh, your particular fuel running costs. And obviously this is highly contextualized to where you are. So much so, I'm now gonna do an example of working this out for my particular country, for Australia. Okay, for an example, using litres and kilometres, we're going to consider an example here in Australia. Uh, we're going to have a look at two types of vehicles. The petrol vehicle is the Corolla. Okay, the Corolla gets 7.5 litres per 100 kilometres. That's a fairly uh, common way that we would actually express our fuel consumption. But a different way, <laughs> and my car does both, is it would actually also possibly give you something in terms of the number of of kilometers per liter. Now, if this is the case, how would you go about changing between these, or how could you? Well, you could actually change from liters per 100 kilometers to kilometers per liter fairly simply. We just literally could go kilometers divided by the number of liters, and it would change it into this unit here. So say we've got 100 kilometers, and we are going 7.5 liters, it would tell us that we are doing 13.33 um, kilometers for every lead that we drive, okay? But I'm not gonna deal with that particularly now. I just wanted to put that out there because occasionally that's how that might be expressed, okay? So you can change between the two. This is compared to the Tesla, which we get given in uh, kilometers as a, a range. We have a range of, which is given, of 150 watts per kilometer, okay? Now, first off, we're just gonna change this into kilowatts. Now, in a kilowatt, there is a thousand watts. So this, if we divide by a thousand, is actually 0 0.15 kilowatts, okay, per kilometer. Okay, just a bit of an easier way because when we are by electricity, we're doing it in kilowatts, not in watts. Okay, so <laughs> now we're going to do a similar thing. We're going to actually work out for a given distance how much energy we're using and then based on the price, what the actual cost comparison is. So how do we go about doing this? Now, the average person in Australia, we don't drive as much as they do in the US. We're in the 13,000s, but we're in the kilometers. We drive 13,300 kilometers on average per year in Australia. So, okay, how much petrol would you use using a Corolla? For every 100 kilometers, you're using 7.5 liters. So you imagine that. How many lots of 100 are in 13,300, okay? So if we were to consider that, we could actually divide this by 100 and you would see that there'd be 133 lots of 100, okay? And for every one of these, you're using 7.5 litres. So times 7.5 litres. If you were to work this out, what's that going to be? Okay, you would get this as being 997.5 litres. What about the Tesla? How much would a Tesla 3 use, okay? Um, okay. So it's using 0.15 kilowatts per kilometer. This is actually a bit more of a simple calculation, I guess. Um, so we've got 13,300 kilometers, and for every one of these, we're using 0.15 kilowatts. So it's just a simple multiplication. If we do this, uh, we go that times that, how much are we using? Uh, we're going to be using 1,995 uh, kilowatts per year. Once again, be very, very aware. This is the 86% figure, okay? But to get 100% efficiency, I divide this by 86 and times by 100 and change it into the 100% figure. This is actually gonna be 2,320 kilowatts, okay? The actual amount that you'd be putting in, okay? Just to do that, by the way, what I've done is I've divided by 86 and times by 100, okay? Because this is an 86% figure, this is a 100% figure, okay? All right, so now how do we go about working out the cost here? Well, I guess we just need the price of petrol, right? Okay, the price of petrol in Australia is, well, highly variable depending on what day you look at it. Uh, it's $1.54 per litre, okay? So how much is this gonna cost? Well, this is a fairly simple calculation. You can literally go, okay, for every one of these litres, uh, for every one of these 997 litres, we're using $1.54. So we're paying $1.54 plus $1.54 plus $1.54 997 times. 
we're going to multiply these guys. And if we do that, we multiply, we're going to get this answer of these guys costing $1,576 per year. And that is for the Corolla. What would the Tesla cost? Okay, so our electricity, and this is in Australian dollars, by the way, our electricity, I actually checked out my own electricity cost for this. My off-peak electricity cost is 19.44 cents uh, per kilowatt hour. So our Tesla is using 1,995 kilowatts of uh, electricity theoretically, but in reality, it's actually going to be using more likely 2,320 kilowatts. And so I reckon this is the figure I'm going to be working out with. Um, okay, so at a cost of 19.44 cents per kilowatt hour, if I multiply these, I can get the price here. Just remember when we're multiplying that this is in cents. I'm going to want to multiply this by the dollars version of this, which is 0.1944, okay? All right, so we multiply these guys here. Uh, this times this, we get an answer of 400 and $51, okay? This is per year for the Tesla. So there's a bit of a difference here. You can see here, this is about 30% of the price. If you actually work it out, 451 divided by 1576 times 100, this is about 29% of the price. So anyway, that's how you go about working out fuel consumption. I did try to put a fair bit in there. I tried to put in this uh, electrical vehicle things just because I thought it's, uh, it's, it's obviously the way that we are all heading these days. But do realize that this is highly, highly contextualized. If you actually want to get a comparison in your own particular area where you live, you might look up global petrol prices and look up your own bills and things like that. I think that's probably the best thing you could do. Uh, so anyway, thank you uh, for that particular suggestion of that video. If you uh, like that video, please remember, like and subscribe to the Tech Math channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that I put up. Once again, also... If you actually really want to say uh, what type of videos we make, you know, you can always send through a message anyway, but you're probably more likely to, um, <laughs> I'm probably more likely to get it, you know, from my patrons. I don't have so many of those. I have a lot of people who send me video requests and I can't do them all. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you like the video. We'll see you next time. Bye.